okay so this is our i think set video uh and i was saying this is going to be the part where we connect to our database but i just wanted to show you um how to use um static data in your login or anything you you want okay so first let's start with um let's just change the font for this font size Let's just make it 12. What does the name this thing do? 12. Okay. So, in order for us to use static data to maybe try our login, we have to double click this um, this button. Okay. So, um, one thing I forgot to tell you is every tool has its own name and that name is what is used as a reference to that particular tool so if for some reason you are coding and then you need to refer to that particular button you need the name of the button or if it's a text box you need the name of that text box okay or the label you just need the name so every tool has its own name and when you select on that particular tool the name of the tool shows up here this is the name of the tool okay the same thing applies to the the button this is the name of the button and then when we select the form tool it appears the same that one too that's the name so if for some reason you want to change the name of this text box this is it you look you scroll to the properties for that text box and then you find the name property okay when you find the name property this is the name here you can change it so for 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 starters let's just name this one as username username underscore txt txt just being in text box okay just something to identify it and then we just click enter and then we'll change it for you okay so the name has been changed here and the name has to be unique if for some reason the name conflicts is not going to work so let's just say you're going to name this one the same as we named the username underscore txt it's not going to work every name has to be unique okay so this one to we scroll to we go to the name we find it we just do password underscore txt and then enter and then yes that's it so let's change the button to let's do um let's name it login underscore button okay so that's it okay so now in order to code um how we want our login to be is when the person clicks the login button it checks the details of the two and then it logs the person in okay so what we have to do here is we double click the button and then it give us an event for this button and that's where we are going to write the code in we write the code within the event of this button so when we double click it it will open the code view for us okay and then it will create an event which is this this is the event this is the event for the button we we double clicked okay so in between this is where we will write the code and validate the login and see if whatever the person has entered is correct the details is correct and then we log the person in or we tell the person is wrong okay so let's double click it again and then this is it so what we have to do now is um we do an if and else statement um, an if and else statement is more like trying to check if something is exact or just comparing something so we do if into bracket okay and then we put our statement inside okay so we go and look for the reference of what the first one we which we named what username underscore txt okay so like I said when you need to refer to this you, you use the name so we come here we do if user name underscore txt this is it it's equal to equal to so when you are comparing something use double 
equal to signs to compare so we use double quotes here and then if it says equal to equal to we, we are trying to say if um, user name underscore text which is the text box is equal to equal to or is equal to empty so comparing something you use double equal to if you use one equal to it means you are trying to say username underscore this one is equal to this so that's not how it works so we do it that's comparing unless you are assigning if you are assigning something a value to this then you can use a single double a single i mean sorry you can use a single equal to so um, we use double and uh, okay um, let me stop here and then continue in the next video.